Uh, hello kids! Today we will study about how light, heat, and sound affects our daily life. How light interact with different materials. We will study that. The color and heat absorption and the properties of sound. And a pleasant and pleasant sound and the benefits of sound. What is the importance of sound? That's what we will study for today with teacher Bean. Now, first, we have here different colors as you can see. We have what we call visible light. Light that is visible to the human eye. If we said visible light, it is only part of an electromagnetic spectrum. The electromagnetic spectrum like uh, show the entire range of waves present in our world. So we will know more about this later on. Uh, the primary source of our li uh, light is the sun, of course. The visible light allows us to see the color that is not absorbed by the objects. Okay, we have here, for example, uh, we see most plants as green because the leaves absorb all colors of the visible light except green. Okay, so to understand light further, we will have to study how the light interacts with different materials and that's what we call optics okay optics is the study of how light interacts with different objects we will study about reflection refraction absorption and transmission of light okay first we have here a picture of a glass of water with a straw okay what can you observe okay what can you see the straw okay Okay, so what can you see? This is one example of refraction. The piece of refraction, the bending of light at its passes through different materials. Okay, for example, we have here a straw of glass of water appears bent. Okay, as you can see on the water, it appears bent because of the different parts of the material that interact with light. Okay, so the water interact with light, the part of the straw that is not deep, the part is not deep in the water interacts with the air while the part of the straw that deep as you can see in the water interacts with the the light interacts with the water light moves faster in the air than in water that's why it's appear like this okay the straw uh, look like bent okay in the water that is why okay as you can see the straw looks bent because of the Refraction of light. Okay, bending of light. Next, we have here, what can you see? Okay, you can see the, we have here a sun, a picture of sun. Okay, in the ocean, you can see some light visible to the water. Okay, we have here a flashlight that appears what? Reflected the light. That's what we call reflection. If we said reflection, it's the bouncing back of light when it hits an object. Some objects like flat surfaces like mirrors reflect light, diba? In a straight and predictable way. Okay, some objects naman are yung uneven yung surfaces will like yung mga ra like rocks reflect light in a scattered way. Okay, that's what we call reflection. Next, how about this one? If you can see, we have your different colors. The red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. Okay, we have here a blue, the blue reflected, but the other color is absorbed. Okay, so that's what we call absorption. It is the materials that taking in of light and not reflecting back. Okay, for example, when light uh, strike a black surface, kapag black surface yan, ia absorb, the light will absorb, uh, the materials will absorb the light. Okay, but nothing is reflected as you can see, unlike in a blue object. The blue reflected, but in the black, all the colors or light is absorbed. Okay, next we have here, as you can see, a light that's absorbed, uh, that is being transmitted. Okay, this is what we call transmission. It's the passing of light through some materials. Okay, it refers to uh, when light passes through a glass of window, it is transmitted to other side. Okay, allowing the light to pass through the window okay so 
we have different example of transmitting of light. We have, for example, transparent materials. Uh, we have different materials have way, different way of transmitting light. Okay, for example, we have what we call transparent materials. If we said transparent materials, it allowed the light to pass through them. Like nuclear plastic and glass windows are example of transparent objects because the light will transfer through them. Okay, next is we have translucent materials. It allows some light to pass through them, some only. Example are stained glass and frosted windows. And the other is opaque materials which do not allow, is do not allow the light to pass through them. Like concrete window, uh, walls, wooden doors, and mirrors are example of opaque material objects. They do not allow the light to pass through them. Okay, so that is transmission. Okay, we have here, uh, so you can see a picture, we have what two colors we can see. So we have here black and white. Okay, so black and white. Okay, when light hits an object, some parts of the light absorbed by the object and some are reflected back. Okay, absorption happens when light gets through the object. Reflection, um, reflection when it hits the object and bounces back to the object. And when we see an object, what we are seeing are the reflected light. Okay. Black and white are different from other colors. White is a combination of all colors. Okay, when you see a white object, it means that the object is reflecting all the colors of the light. Okay, As the, at the same time. Okay, for example, polar bears. The color of the po color, uh, polar bears is white because it look white, look white, but their fur is actually colorless. Okay, or transparent. The colorless or transparent hair of the polar bear scatters uh, or reflects all the colors of the light. Okay? Their color, uh, colorless or transparent hair scatter or reflects all the colors of light. Okay? That, that's the reason why it appears white. Okay? Next, we have black. Black, on the other hand, is the absence of reflected color. Uh, when we see a black object, it means that the object is absorbing almost all the colors of light. Okay? And, and none of the visible colors are reflected. Okay, we have your example on how colors affect heat absorption. As you can see, if the white, we have here two color of clothes. We have white clothes and the black clothes. Okay, in the white, we have low absorption and the white, and up in the black, we have high absorption. Okay? It's an example of what? When a color fabric absor uh, colored fabric absorbs light, okay, it turns the light into thermal energy. The more light the fabric ob absorbs, the more thermal energy is produces. Okay, for example, ito yung black. Uh, we have here the black fabric. It absorbs all the colors of the lights. And it's therefore warmer. Kaya when we uh, wear black clothes during summer, it's very hot. Okay? Because in the white fabric, it reflects all the colors. Okay? The colors of the uh, the colors of the spectrum appearing the darkest and the most like black, violet, indigo, and green or brown will produce the most thermal energy. And the colors like red, orange, yellow will produce the least thermal energy they appear lighter or more like white so it's more comfortable to wear white clothes during summer okay because it uh reflect the colors and doesn't absorb by the color okay next so during warm days uh it's wise to wear white because it absorb less heat and more comfortable to wear. Okay. okay, now what can you see on the picture? Okay, we have here an example of a this an orchestra. Okay, orchestra is composed of different musicians that play different musical instruments, as you can see in the picture. It produces what we call what? 
it produces different sounds or music. Okay. If we said sound, this like this. Uh, sound is produced uh, produce due to vibrations. The vibration produces sound waves which may move through several mediums such as air and water before reaching the ears. Okay? So, our ears vibrate in very similar way to the original source of vibration. This allow us to hear the different form of sound. Okay, sound has different properties. First, we have what we call the pitch. It is the highness and lowness or a uh, highness and lowness of notes. Okay, when the vibration are fast, high notes are heard. Okay, it's very loud. And when vibration are slow, low notes are heard. Okay, for instrument, uh, string instrument, the length, thickness, and the tension will affect the pitch. Okay. Next, we have the quality. Another properties of sound. If we said quality, it refers to the shape of the sound waves an object produces. Loud, uh, the, sm uh, the smoother the shape of the waves, the better the quality of the sound. The more pleasing to hear. And if the shape of the sound waves is rough, the sound produces is unpleasant. Okay? And we have the loudness, refers to the volume and sound pressure produced by the vibration of an object. Okay? If the sound produces high pressure, okay, if the sound becomes louder. Um, if it's the pressure is low, it's had a low volume. Okay? Then we have what we call pleasant sound. If we said pleasant sound, it is the music and sound form from vibration that reach our ear harmoniously and regular at regular intervals. It's good to hear. Okay, nice to hear the pleasant sound. Example is melody on the piano and sea waves. Okay, so another is the, the, the lips rustle by the winds. Okay, the normal volume of music. Okay, so that is a pleasant sound. And we have here, what can you see in the picture? A man using a jackhammer. Okay, have you experienced uh, hearing the sound of a jackhammer? Okay. It is produced, uh, it produces unpleasant sound. Okay, if it is unpleasant sound, sound that make irregular vibration that causes noise or consider as noise, which is not good to hear, very unpleasant. Okay. Which is uh, irritate, uh, feel irritate, uh, it can cause irritation in our ear. Okay? So, example is sound of jackhammer, blaring music over the speaker. Okay? So, that causes unpleasant sound. Now, what is the importance of sound? Keys. There are many uses and application of sound. Okay? Through sound, it's a form of communication among animals and humans. In humans, we communicate through our speech, okay, that produces sound or in other form of body language. Music involves sound, okay, sound it produces when we sing and play a musical instrument, okay. We use sound to warning signals like an ambulance or in your school, uh, the alarm bell, okay, it warning us, diba, if there's some troubles or problems. So, that is the importance of sounds. Okay? Now, that's how at our, the light, the sound, and the heat affect our daily light. Okay? That's all for today. Hope you learned, kids, our lesson. Till next time, Thank you with teacher B.